Welcome to the hottest car reviews proudly brought to you by carshop.co.za with your host Luke Preston, our local motoring enthusiast, bringing you the best reviews right here, right now. So be sure to visit our website for the best deals and latest offers. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Car Shop Drive. Today we're checking out the hardcore, super hot hatch. It's a Renault Megane Renault Sport Trophy. If you're a true motoring enthusiast, and I'm talking about someone who actually takes pleasure in the art of driving a car, as opposed to, well, just the way they look, then at some point in your life, you're gonna aspire to own something performance orientated. The problem is though, is that, well, we don't have the money, do we? One million, two million, three million rand. It sort of fades into obscurity, the hopes of owning something truly special when we're talking about that much money. Even the BMW M3, which was the working man's performance car, is over a million rand these days. So what do you do? Take the plunge and maybe buy a second hand M3? Or, well, you could buy a super hot hatch like this one. This is a Renault Sport Megane, but it's not just any Renault Sport Megane. It's a 275 Trophy. And you can see because it says that here on the F1 style splitter, but there are actually a few other subtle hints that this is no stock RS Megane. For starters, front and rear wheel arches are actually wider than before. And inside those, you get nice glossy 19 inch rims. And if you look further inside, you'll see mammoth brakes by specialist Brembo. And then around the back, audio files, you're like this. You get a bespoke exhaust by them exhaust fettlers at Kropovich, which makes the exhaust sound, well, very, very good. It's not all exterior go foster bits either. The Trophy 275 sits on the cup chassis, so it means it's more focused and stiffer than regular RS Megans. And like the name suggests, power has been up to 275 horses, which in our speak is 201 kilowatts. 201 kilowatts through the front wheels. Oh yes. It gets better inside too. The first thing you'll notice is this clock on the sill here, denoting that you're driving something truly special. This number is number 1185. Nice. These bucket seats are actually superb. They feel like they've been lifted straight out of a race car and they look the part too. They're part leather, part Alcantara. The steering wheel also Alcantara clad and it's got a nice this way up red stitching at the top. And the absolute best thing about the trophy, a manual gearbox and three pedals. Sure, there's other things. You've got back seats which are tiny and no real big person could fit into. There's also a boot which well, fit stuff in but to be honest everything else in this car is superfluous it has one true core function and that's going fast so does it go fast let's check it out so out and about in the Renault again Renault Sport Trophy 275 well First impressions are, if you have loose fillings, you're gonna to wanna to get those sorted because they're gonna get rattled out. These bucket seats, well, cosseting is probably the best word I can come up with. The clutch, clutch pedal is super heavy. The gear action, well, it requires an actual involvement. There's no half-heartedness about this car. If you balk, it's gonna balk back at you. Let's talk about that engine. It's still two liters and it's still turbocharged heavily so. Turbo lag is the wrong description here because the Trophy definitely doesn't have turbo lag. It feels as every bit as quick as the 6 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour time suggests but it's the way it delivers the power. It feels like a compressed spring and when you get over that 3000 revs per minute mark well everything explodes and everything is released. Let's talk about the brakes for a second. As we mentioned earlier they're by specialist brake builder Brembo and if you don't know anything about Brembo well they make proper racing brakes for Formula One teams, rally drivers, and well, anyone. 
In this car, you can just feel they're immense. They scrub off speed as quickly as you put speed on. So what does that mean? Well, a limited slip diff means basically get into a corner and you can power yourself out. There's no spinning up of the front wheel. So back to that ride. Yes, the trophy is stiffly sprung. You're going to have to go get your head around that. And if you expect a nice flush soft ride, this isn't the car for you. It might put some people off as the three door practicality or impracticality. That also might put you off. At low speeds, the trophy feels like a caged cat, looking, pacing, waiting for that opportunity to set free. It's not something you want to drive slowly. The gear action is difficult to modulate, the clutch is heavy, but find the right piece of road, put your foot down, drop a few gears, and this thing takes off like nothing else. So let's talk about that exhaust note. Like we said earlier, you get a bespoke exhaust by Kropovich. Basically, it makes the most ridiculous set of bangs, pops, belches and burps that you're ever going to hear. Down by your right hand knee here, there's a little RS mode button. Basically, that's a sport button and it takes everything up a notch. The exhaust gets louder, it tightens up the throttle pedal, a little bit of the steering, but quite honestly, all you're going to care about is that exhaust. Keep it in RS mode because it makes the most ridiculous sound, I promise. So, what does the sublime slice of motorsport derived hot hatch cost? 449,000 Rand. So what does your half a million Rand get you besides one of the most focused hardcore hot hatches on the market? Specification if you're really bothered includes dual front side and curtain airbags, a tire pressure monitoring system, two zone climate control, electric folding door mirrors with defrost function, radio CD with MP, Bluetooth, USB and auxiliary in, a TomTom -tom live navigation system, cruise control with speed limiter, automatic headlights and windscreen wipers, rear park assist and halogen headlights with LED daytime running lights. For the serious enthusiast who has access to a racetrack and for those who just like to geek out, the trophy has an RS monitor with full 3D race telemetry with data download functionality, meaning you can watch your boost, torque, g-force and lap times and then download it, print it out and gloat and bore your friends to death with it. Thanks for watching guys, that's it for today. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter, comment if you want, and visit carshop.co.za for great specials on used cars.